Energy delivered to the ear. Sound is detected when a sound wave causes the tympanic membrane, the eardrum, to vibrate. Typically, the diameter of this membrane is about 8.4 millimeters in humans. Part A. How much energy is delivered to the eardrum each second when someone whispers? That's 20 decibels. A secret in your ear. So this is the sound level. Someone whispers a secret in your ear. It's 20 decibels. Part B. To comprehend how sensitive the ear is to very small amounts of energy, calculate how fast a typical 2 mg mosquito would have to fly in millimeters per second to have this amount of kinetic energy. Okay, so uh, let's recall intensity of sound in decibels. That's the sound level. By definition, intensity of sound in decibels, IDB, is 10 logarithm log 10, the intensity I divided by the reference intensity I0. Now the reference intensity I0 is 1 times 10 to minus 12 watts per meter square, which is the hearing limit. It's actually at 1 kilohertz, but we can take this the, as the reference intensity. So uh, 20 decibels of sound level when someone whispers to your ear is 10 log the actual intensity divided by 10 to minus 12 watts per meter square. So 2 is log i over 10 to minus 12. Therefore, we can see that 10 to 2 is going to be i over 10 to minus 12. So the intensity of sound we're talking about, the sound level, is 10 to minus 10 watts per meter square, which is the average time averaged power divided by the perpendicular area. So what is the perpendicular area? It's going to be the uh, area of your eardrum. So that's pi r squared. So we can assume it's uh, circular. So pi diameter over 2 uh, square. Now we're given that the diameter of this membrane is 8.4 millimeters, the tympanic membrane. So it's going to be uh, pi over 4, 8.4 times 10 to minus 3 meters. Uh, square. So the average power delivered to the ear uh, will be the perpendicular uh, area times the intensity, which is pi d over 2 squared, diameter over 2 squared times intensity in watts. And that's basically joules per second. So that's the energy delivered to the ear each second. So we can calculate this average power, uh, pi over 4, 8.4 10 to minus 3 squared, the diameter of the tympanic membrane, times the intensity 10 to minus 10. So this gives us, for the average power, 5.5 times 10 to minus 15 joules every second. So that's the energy delivered to the ear every second when somebody whispers. Now we will compare this with the kinetic energy of a mosquito. A mosquito has kinetic energy 1 half mv square. So uh, if the mosquito has uh, 2 milligrams 
uh, mass we will have 1 over 2 2 times 10 to minus 6 kilograms uh, v square and if this is equal to the energy delivered to the ear every second 5.5 10 to minus 15 we find the speed of the mosquito because the twos will cancel here a uh, square root of 5.5 times 10 to minus 9 and that gives us 7.4 times 10 to minus 5 meters per second we're asked to report it in millimeters per second so it is 7.4 times 10 to minus 2 millimeters per second so with this speed a mosquito has the energy delivered to the ear when somebody whispers okay so we're talking about uh, sound uh, detection during someone whispers in your ear which is the 20 db sound level uh, how much energy is delivered every second so that's the average power uh, delivered to the ear the uh, diameter of the tympanic membrane is 8.4 millimeter in humans and uh, the ear can detect such a sound so we in order to understand how sensitive it is we compare it with the uh, 2 milligram mosquito uh, having this energy kinetic energy uh, and find how fast the mosquito would have to move to produce this energy so intensity of sound uh, in decibels that's the sound level is 10 log i over i0 where i0 is the reference intensity which is 10 to minus 12 watts per meter square the uh, limit hearing limit uh, for humans so 20 decibels of sound level would correspond to then an intensity of 10 to minus 10 watts per meter square which is average power per perpendicular area the perpendicular area for the sound waves in our ear is the area of the eardrum which is pi radius square which is diameter over 2 squared so uh, multiplying the area with the intensity we find the power which is 5.5 10 to minus 15 joules per second so every second we deliver this much energy the kinetic energy of the mosquito uh, with a mass 2 milligrams that's 2 10 to minus 6 kilograms is 1 half 2 10 to minus 6 v squared if it's equal to this energy then we find that the speed of the mosquito should be 7.4 10 to minus 2 millimeters per second